Hi everyone, in this video we are going to take a look at how to import records that contain a reference field where the reference table contains a unique field that is not the sysid. So let's get started. For this demonstration I've created a custom table to save my geographic regions. The fields include an ID, a level which is a choice field and the choices over here are suburb, city and state. We have the name of the region, and then finally the parent, which as you can see is a reference field to the same table, to the same geographic regions table, which means we're gonna have a hierarchy uh, and we're going to take advantage of this level field here so that suburbs have a parent that are cities and cities have parents that are states. If we have a look at the form at the moment, there are no records in here and I've got the ID name level and the parent fields displayed. Okay, I've taken the liberty of creating a data source already uh, that has an attachment, which is a JSON file. Uh, we can take a quick look at that file. It's this one here. It only contains a few records. Uh, the first two here are suburbs. So we can see here that the geographic region or the level rather is set to one, which indicates that it's a suburb. We have the ID and the name and so forth. And we've got a reference to the parent ID as well. You can see both of these reference the parent ID of 100, which is this one here, which is the city of Brisbane. And this one in turn references another parent, which is 1000. And this 1000 is the one, this last entry here, the state of Queensland in Australia. Okay, so that's what we're going to import. So let's come back here to our data source. As I said, I've already got that file attached to this data source. And here under path for each row, I've got uh, the path um, using the format that you need to recognize. So the system recognizes uh, each entry, uh, each record that you're going to import. If you look at the documentation on this, uh, you'll see that for a simple array in a JSON file, you need to specify that the name of the array twice here. So geographic regions is the one that I've got uh, here, that first node here, the, the node of the, the array itself. Okay. And then I've also taken the liberty of creating a transform map. And if we have a look at this transform map, uh, it's pretty basic. It basically just matches uh, the fields that we've got in that JSON file to the fields that we have in the target table. And I've set the region ID to be the coalesce field. Okay, so at the moment, that field is unique. This one right here. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead now and run this transform, import the records, and let's just see what the result is. So I'll go back to my data source here. I will load the records from the file. And then run the transform. Click transform, it's done. And let's have a look at the results here. Okay, so we do have records here, but it's not actually quite what we want. So we have uh, references to the, the two suburbs of Brisbane, which are Indrapilly and Tawong. And you can see here, they've got a reference to a parent, which is 100, which doesn't really help us that much. We don't really know what 100 is just by looking at this. Uh, but we can see here, this record is a the reference to 100, which is the city of Brisbane. Okay, uh, that has a parent, which is 1000. And 1000 is the state of Queensland. So they are all kind of okay. We would like to have the, the name of the, 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 the city or the state here instead of just a number. Uh, but we also have uh, the appearance of uh, these two records here, uh, which don't have an ID. Uh, which are apparently suburbs and they have no parent and we just don't know what they are. So why do we have that? Well, if we have a look at our transform map and we come down and I open up the field map for the parent. We can see here that it because it's a choice field, um, if... We don't have a value for that already in the table. We're actually going to create uh, that entry. Okay. So what's happened is that if we have a look at our file here, 
We've got a reference to a parent ID of 100 here and here, and then a parent ID of 1,000 here and here. And what's probably happened is that the system has tried to import those records, has imported those records first. We haven't got a reference for those yet because uh, the parent for those records are records that we haven't yet imported. So for the reference to 100 is here, which is our third record, and the reference to 1,000 is our fifth record and because we have had in our field map the choice action set to create the system has just gone ahead and created those records not really knowing what they are okay so that's not what we need or want so let's go ahead and delete all of those records and we'll try again okay so let's start over or well, kind of because we've got most things here that we need. The problem at the moment is that the reference to the parent um, is a not the sys ID, and this explains why uh, we have uh, the number here displayed instead of the name of the record, and it's all just a little bit out of sync. So when you have a situation where the referenced field that you've got, or reference record, uh, the unique ID for that record is not the sys ID and often that is the case so sometimes you may have a reference to an email address or a user ID or something else it's just not the sys ID and you want to use that instead to reconcile so the system knows which record to use to reference in our case uh, this reference here the parent ID is a reference to the table itself and if we have a look at our file here uh, the unique ID at the moment for this file is the geo region ID here. So we just need to point to that in our field map. So if we come back to our table here and have a look at the corresponding field in our target table, it's this one here, geographic region ID. That's what we need to use. So what we can do in our field map for our parent, we can just specify that field name right here. So geographic region id okay and we will save that and let's try again and let's see what the result is this time okay let's see if this works or not okay so we'll go back to my uh, data source here there we go we'll just load those records again Okay, load all records into the same import set table. We've got five new inserts there, and we'll go ahead and run the transform once more. Okay, transform. All right, drum roll. Let's come back here. Let's see what the result is. That looks a little bit better. Okay, we've got our two suburbs of Brisbane, Tawong and Indrapilly. Okay, we've got our two cities in Queensland, Brisbane and Redlands. You can see the parent is referenced to Queensland. And we've got the Queensland the state, uh, which does not have any parent because we didn't have the record for Australia, the country. Okay, so that's working. That's fine. Sometimes it may not necessarily work depending on the order in which you are importing records um, so what i mean is when you're importing records that do have a hierarchy uh, the reference to the parent record will need to be already in the system before you create the child record otherwise you may have a missing reference or the uh, the system will create an extra reference just like we saw earlier so what you can do there are different ways to tackle this simple ways more complex ways depending on the data that you've got um, but one thing that you can try is in your field maps here, let me go back to my transform map, you can run an on before script just to take the fields or the records that you want to import first and then run it again and take the second batch of records that you want to import, run it again, take the third batch of records that you want to import and so forth. So in our case, the system has already taken care of this um, uh, itself but what we could have done and i'll do it again just to show you we could actually just take uh, oops the parent record first 
the parent of parents, so the state, Queensland. So we know that when we import uh, these two records here, the two cities in Queensland, we've got the reference to Queensland already in the system and that reference will be imported or will work out just fine. Uh, likewise, when we import the two city records here, we can then finally import the two suburbs of the city of Brisbane, knowing that the city of Brisbane has already been imported. So here I've got a simple script here that I'm going to put in. It's an on-before script that I'm going to use in my transform map, uh, which basically just says, uh, if the region level is one, in this case, this will be our... Well, actually, I should change that to level three because that will be the one that I want to import first. So let me just change it to three. Uh, we are going to set uh, the ignore flag to false. In other words, we're going to import that record. And for everything else, we're going to set ignore to true. We won't import those records. So if I do that and come back to my target table, I will delete these records once more. There we go. And then we can come back to our transform map here. We can go to our transform scripts and then we can just create a new on before transform script. So there are different uh, times in which a transform script can start. Uh, take a look at the documentation to see what all these values actually mean. Uh, but I'm going to select an on before and then just paste that script that I just copied okay, and submit that. So what should happen now is that when we run this transform again, the state of Queensland will be the only record that is imported. So let's do that. Let's come back to our, oops, to my transform map, uh, to my data source rather. Let's come back, data source, yep. We'll load those records again. Uh, we'll come down here, load those records. So we're going to load five records again, but we're only going to pick one of them to import. So let's run the transform. Transform. And then if I come back to the target table, refresh, we just have the state of Queensland. Okay, which means now we can safely import the children of Queensland, the cities in Queensland, knowing that the reference is there the import will work just fine. So let's just uh, do that. Let's see it through to completion. Let's go back to our transform map again. And we'll just make a small modification to that script so that we're going to import the level two records instead of the level three ones. So let's come down here to our script. Uh, we'll change that to level two. Save it, and we'll just do the same process again. We'll go to our data source, import the records again. Again, we're going to create five new records in our import set table, but this time we're only going to take two of them, the two cities. So load all records, run the transform, and then we'll come back to our target table, we'll do a refresh, and now we've got the two cities, Brisbane and Redlands. Okay, and then maybe just finally, we can change this to level one, which will be our suburbs. And I've got two suburbs in Brisbane. And then they will be imported just like that. So we'll come back here to our data source. Again, load all records. Again, there are different ways uh, of doing this, of implementing this. Uh, I'm doing it kind of, uh, I suppose, the easy way, or maybe the easiest way. Um, but there are other ways that you could do it. You could actually uh, just import, uh, after your first uh, import run, you could have maybe an event that is logged um, and then a script action that then executes when that event is triggered to say, okay, let's import then all the records that we ignored uh, the first time. So, as I said, we'll just keep it simple here and we'll just import them batch by batch using the same data source, essentially. And if I come now 
to refresh you, we kind of end up where we kind of started uh, or what we had uh, um, once we had import or we specified the uh, reference field uh, to be the geographic region ID. And this is what we have here, so that's working. So uh, in this video, just to recap, uh, we have solved a couple of little problems. Uh, the first problem being where the referenced field um, contains uh, or is a, a record in a table where the sys ID is not the unique ID of that record. In our case, it's the region ID. Okay, so that's what we specified uh, in our parent transform map. And the second problem we solved was to import uh, the records in a certain order so that we have the parents imported first, we have the children of those parents imported, and then so forth. So we can confidently import records knowing that the reference to the parent record is already there and the system can reference it. So I hope you found this short little video useful and we'll see you next time.